Hello everyone, welcome back with another video. My name is Bappi Ahmed and I am your host. So guys, as of now, we have seen like uh, various kinds of uh, open source large language model. We have seen like how to use Llama 2, how to use Google Pam 2. So in this video, I'm going to discuss another uh, open source, very powerful large language model, which is nothing but Falcon. So guys, this is another open source large language models. Uh, even Falcon has lots of variant like uh, so recently Falcon has published this 180 b billion parameter this model but it has some other variant as well here if you see Falcon has actually 1.3 billion 7.5 billion 40 billion and this is the recent one which is nothing but 180 billion parameter so uh, actually I can't load this 180 billion parameter uh, with this Google collab and all so if you have good instance so you can load it process would be same but I will uh, take this model guys uh, uh, 7.5 billion this model 7 7 billion model and i will show you one demo like how we can use this uh, falcon open source uh, large language model to build our generative ai application so first of all i will show you like how we can uh, uh, integrate this falcon 7b uh, model with our langchain so we'll be seeing like how we can perform inferencing on top of the model then i will also show you how we can create generative ai application on top of that so guys here if you see falcon is nothing but it's a open source large language generative ai model and uh, if you see here falcon helps us to create a very advanced application and it has actually lots of version like uh, 180 billion 40 billion and 7 billion and um, 1.3 billion parameter and it is trained up with high quality like data set so that uh, actually it can perform all kinds of job okay whatever you will be uh, giving as a prompt so we'll see like uh, how we can do it and it has actually these are the variant as i already told you 14b and even they have already given you the download guideline and all so uh to download this model actually i'll be using uh hugging face because hugging face has already this kinds of model hosted here if you see this is the falcon 7b instruct model so this is the 7 billion parameter model so i'm going to use this model so you can uh, use any other model as well let's say if you want to use uh, this 14 billion model okay just uh try to search here you will get the model so in this example i will show this model okay i will use this model and i will show you the demo so for this actually i have already prepared one notebook as you can see now this is the notebook i prepared so first of all let's see like how we can perform the inference on top of this uh, falcon 7b model okay with the help of langchain so for this first of all uh, make sure you have connected your uh, notebook and you have selected uh, gpu as a runtime so i've already selected so uh, as of now whatever things we have learned like lama then uh, google palm all the steps are same only okay but only you just need to change the model there so this is the idea here so if you're using any kinds of large language model not only llama google palm or let's say falcon if you're using any kinds of large language model i already showed you right like i already showed you like we have different different large language models so all the process will remain same you need to call the same method and all okay if you are using langchain and all and the way i imported my model here you can easily load it okay and you can refer some documentation because whenever let's say you are referring any kinds of uh, large language model they will have their documentation you can go through the documentation you will get the idea and guess throughout this entire session actually i showed you three large language model like uh, uh, llama 2 google palm and this falcon one and rest of the large language model you can explore all the process will remain same okay only you just need to do some exploration on top of it so guys here if you see i already connected my notebook now if you want to check the GPU, whether you got GPU or not, this is the command to execute, then you will see the GPU. Then first of all, I need to import some of the libraries because here I, uh, I'm using like a high interface model. So for this actually, I need to install transformers and these are the libraries, okay? Then I will be also using Langchain. So I also need to install Langchain on top of it, okay? So let me install them. So guys, as you can see, installation is done. Now I will be loading the model. So guys, to load the model, if you are using hind face model, so first of all, you need to call this hind face pipeline from Langchain, as well as you also need to call the tokenizer, okay, and the pipeline objects. Now here is the name you need to define. So this is the name I've just copied from here and I pasted here. Okay, this is the name. And if you're using some other model, you can change the name here. So it will automatically download the model. First of all, you need to define the tokenizer. Now, tokenizer will help you to convert your text to numbers, okay? And it will also do the pre-processing steps before feeding the data to the model. Then, uh, I will initialize in the pipeline so it's a text generation model that's why i have given the text generation it will take the model it will also take the tokenizer and these are the parameters you need to keep it as default okay now if you execute this particular code so you will be able to see like it will first of all download the model
So guys, this is the model size around 9.95 GB. So let's wait, it will take some time. So guys, as you can see, my model has downloaded. Now uh, I need to load this model. So I need to load this pipeline object actually. So to load this pipeline object, first of all, I need to initialize this hanging face pipeline. I, I think I already imported, you saw that, hanging face pipeline from Langchain. Uh, then here I need to give my pipeline and here one parameter I need to set called temperature. So temperature, I think you already know what is temperature. Temperature means like if you're setting it to zero, that means your model would be like uh, very strict and uh, it won't be taking any risk. Uh, whenever it will give uh, give you the response, but if you're setting it to one, so it will uh, it will take risk and it will give you some random output. That's why uh, you need to think about like whether you need very creative results or random results from your model or not. Okay, if you if not, then try to keep this value close to zero. Otherwise, otherwise you can keep this value close to one. So here I have given zero because I want strict output from my model. So let me initialize my LLM. Okay, now here first of all I need to initialize one prompt template. Okay, then I'm also initializing. Uh, LLM chain. Okay, so let me import them. Then this is my template, custom template I have defined. So you are an intelligent chatbot, help the following questions with the brilliant answer. So here you will get this kinds of question, you need to return this kinds of answer. Okay, so this is the custom uh, prompt I have uh, created. Now this prompt I will initialize with the help of prompt template, it will take the template and it will also take the input variable. So in this case, input variable is my question. Now let me initialize my template. Now, first of all, I will uh, initialize my LLM chain to initialize the LLM chain first of all you need to give the prompt and as well as your uh, LLM okay then it will give you the LLM chain now this is my LLM chain so here is a question I am giving explain what is artificial intelligence as nursery rhymes so uh, it should give me that uh, explanation okay so here I am just writing LLM uh, chain dot run and here I am giving my question now let me execute and show you And if you see here guys, my memory is getting full because I loaded this 7 billion parameter model. So that is why I was telling like you can't load this uh, 180 billion model because it's like very huge model. For this you need good system. You should have good GPU and good memory there. But all the po uh, process would be remaining same. Okay, only just need to change the model name there and everything will remain same. So guys, here is the answer I got. A child may be small, but with a AI can do all. Computers and machine learn faster and faster, allowing the child to great heights. So this is the response I got from my model and with respect to this uh, nursery rhymes. And you can ask any kinds of question, like let's ask another question. So I'll copy this one. And here uh, I can ask, uh, give me a code for adding two numbers so here if you see it it can also generate code so any kinds of uh, prompt you can give any kinds of uh, task you can uh, do with this llm let's say you want to do summarization generate text generate poem generate code anything you can perform with this model okay and it's like very powerful model guys even uh, you will be loving a lot after learning this one okay i think you got the idea now guys uh in future i will also show you how we can uh, fine tune this uh, llm okay uh, like we have learned llama then google palm then falcon we can also fine tune them with respect to our custom task. Let's say you have some complex data and this task uh, your model can't perform. So at that time you can also fine tune them. So in future I will also show you like how we can fine tune them on top of our custom task. Okay. But guys all kinds of tasks actually these are the model can perform. So you don't need to even fine tune them because fine tune is not easy. So it like more costly. So I'll always suggest just try to use this at the model. Okay. These are the trained model. So and you can perform your job here and you can also give the custom data like i already showed you like how to put the custom data on top of that like how to perform these kinds of operation how we can uh, do the information retriever operation how we can perform the summarization everything i have showed even in future i will also create some of the videos like um, we'll be implementing some projects so and we'll see there like how we can create end-to-end -end generative ai application with the help of these are the llm model 
now guys this is the inference uh, on top of this uh, falcon 7b now let's uh, create one project with the help of langchain so here i'll be using chroma db and we'll be creating a multi doc retrieval system so basically here we'll be giving some documentation uh in the documentation we'll be doing the information retrieval operation i think we already saw in our google palm one okay there actually i was using pdf but here we'll be using the textual data so for this actually first of all i need to install these are the libraries so let me install them so i need to first of all terminate my previous instance done now let me install them so here i'm using chroma db so you can use any kinds of vector database you can use pinecone wave it anything you can use and i'm also in, uh, using langchain so we are installing langchain transformers we are also installing because we are using hangfish and we also need sentence transformers okay so everything we need to install here So if you have already watched that Google Pam video, so this uh, notebook will be mostly familiar with you because I'm referring the same code only, but only here I'm using Falcon model and I'm also changing the database here. Okay, only this part I'm changing. So installation is done. Now I'll be importing these are the libraries. So I'm importing Chroma DB, then recursive uh, character splitter, the retrieval question you text loader and directory loader so first of all i need to download the data so this data is available in this url so i'm first of all downloading this zip file then i'm performing unzipping operation on top of it see if i show you the data so guys this is the stock market data so it has lots of stock uh, uh, detail like nvidia stock then tesla stock so these are the txt file data as you can see these are the stock data so on top of that we'll be performing this uh, information retrieval operation with the help of this llm now first of all i need to load this uh, data then i'll be extracting that text so this is the code for it then uh, if you want to see the documents like uh, the final data you got so these are the data i got now what i need to do i need to perform this text splitter on top of it basically i want to uh, convert my entire uh, corpus to chunks okay because i already told you what is chunks and all so uh, my model uh, has like one particular input size if you see the documentation so if you're using this one uh, falcon 7 bin start so it has some particular uh, you can say input size uh, input token size so you need to give that particular size so it's better to uh, convert to chunks so that uh, this kinds of problem you won't be facing okay whenever we'll be feeding the data so let's uh, convert to chunks so that many of chunks i got 49 now if you want to see some chunks so this is the code for it okay so see guys all codes are same uh, as i already used in my previous experience as well okay that's why i'm just going a little bit fast because i think you got the idea like how we are performing these are the operation right now here first of all i will initialize my falcon several instruct model it's the same way i'll be using i showed you in that previous notebook right yeah so it will first of all download the model from the hanging face so it will take some time let's wait So my model has downloaded. Now let's import my hanging face pipeline and hanging face embedding. Because see guys, this Falcon model doesn't have any embedding model. That's why I need to use hanging face embedding. And this is the model I'll be using for my embedding. Basically, I need to convert my text chunks to vector embedding. So that's why I need this one. Now I'm initializing my LLM and I'm also initializing my embedding model. So see guys, it is first of all downloading the embedding model. done now i will initialize my chroma db database uh, and i already showed you like how to initialize chroma db database in my vector database session just go ahead and check it out so here is the db name i'm giving and i'm also passing my text entire corpus okay and i'm also giving my embedding embedding this is the embedding model as you can see uh, so it should be embedding model so this is the name And I'm also uh, giving my directory like this is my uh, DB directory. Now let me uh, store the data in my uh, Chroma DB. So it will convert all the text to vector embeddings and it will store inside your Chroma DB. Now it has done. Now first of all I will load this. Uh, so using this code actually we will load this uh, uh, vector embeddings. Okay. So this code will load the vector embeddings. Let me load. So it should be HF hf is my embedding hmm. 
then here i'm initializing this uh, retriever as my vector db then i'm creating one uh, qa chain retrieval qa chain and here i'm giving my llm now this is the process function i have just written so whatever response i will get from my llm so it will process the uh, output and it will give me that one now let me initialize the qa chain uh, now if you give any kinds of query and execute this code you will be able to see the response okay as you can see you will be able to see the response i think i already showed you like how to do it okay so that's how we can use this uh, falcon 7b um, uh, model okay with our custom uh, task as well like we can create this kinds of generative ai application now guys i want to give one particular uh, task to everyone uh, basically see you have learned lots of concept uh, right now in the field of generative ai like how to use this kinds of open source llm model now i have already shown you like uh, three very powerful open source large language model now one thing actually you can explore from your side there is another uh, large language model called mistral 7b so this is uh, another very good model and this is the website of mistral 7b and this model is also available inside hugging face so mistral 7b hanging face so this is the model guys mistral 7 will be uh, version 0 01 so this model you can uh, load inside your free google collab there is no issue with that so you can follow the same technique to load the model and you can perform these kinds of job here and also try to share this notebook in the comment section i will happy to see that like whatever you have done from your side so it would be pretty much good learning for you right so yes guys this is all about our open source large language model we have seen like how we can use them and how we can create generative ai application on top of it now uh in the next video what i will show you i will uh, create one end-to-end -end, uh, generative ai uh, projects okay with the help of this lang chain then vector database and this kinds of llm i will be also using streamlit package to create the web app and all so guys this is going to be very much interesting project just try to uh, watch that particular video then everything would be cleared like as of now we have done the projects in the google collab but uh, now we'll be converting that google collab to like end-to-end uh, -end projects we'll be creating app and all so it would be very much uh, good for you so yes guys this is all about from my side i hope you like this particular video if you have liked this particular video just try to share this video with your friends and family so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time